Okie dokie, here we go. So we have the unit circle. Uh, unit means unity, means one. So our circle has a radius of one. So this is the x and y axis, and I'm going to draw a circle, and this circle has a radius of one. So what we're interested about when we're doing the unit circle are the points at certain angles, 30s, 60s, 90s, and 45s. And what we want to do is label these points. So if I draw an angle of 30 degrees with the x-axis, I want to know how far over that is and how far up it is. Now, since my radius of my circle is 1, clearly it's not a full 1 out or full 1 up, but I can label this radius 1, and I can then make a triangle. And because I know my 30, 60, 90 triangle ratios, I can therefore name how far over and how far up I am. So for my 30, 60, 90 ratios, I know that the hypotenuse is uh, twice the length of the short side. So 1 is 2s, so that must mean that the short side must be a half, the shorter side across from that shorter angle, the 30. And then the longer side is the short side times root 3. So this is 1 half root 3, or root 3 over 2. So if I label this point, this point here is root 3 over 2 on the x and 1 half on the y. Brilliant, right? Fine. So that's for the 30. You can do the same thing for any single point on here, right? I could make a 45 degree angle. And again, I know my radius is 1. And I know that the radius, um, the hypotenuse for a 45, 45, 90 triangle is uh, root 2 times one of the sides, making one of the sides 1 over root 2 or root 2 over root 2 if you rationalize it by multiplying the top and bottom by root 2. So this point here at 45 degrees up is root 2 over root 2 comma root 2 over root 2 because the how far up and how far how far over and how far up are the same for a 45 45 90 triangle. So you can generate every single point. You can even go in different quadrants. Like what if I went here and did 60 degrees from the x-axis and out here, brought that up to make my triangle, and called that radius 1. And therefore, by our 30, 60, 90 triangle ratios, I would know that this side here, the short side would be a half, and the longer side would be root 3 over 2, making this point on the unit circle 1 half in the negative direction, so negative 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. So you can generate the whole unit circle just knowing your 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90 triangles. And I'll show you a shortcut way to, to fill it in and how that relates to sine and cosine in other videos.